Hey, hey guys. So this is going to be a fun training on recruiting. Simple tips to grow your team. So the number one thing I always tell people is to stop spamming. Um, in the old days in direct sales, they used to teach us how to spam people. You're going to inbox them over and over with your amazing opportunity and why they should join and all this stuff. And to me, inboxing just doesn't work. Um, posting join my team nonstop on your page does not work either. So if you're filling up your page, your personal page and your business page with posts that are like, here's my kit, here's my kit, here's my kit, here's my business opportunity, join my team, join my team, that is not going to work. It's actually going to backfire and people are going to start blocking you and unfriending you. And that's something that you really don't want to happen. So examples of what not to do, this literally has happened to me in like the last two weeks. These are some inboxes that I got. It's like, hey Tracy, hope you're well. We've been connected on here for some time. My colleagues and I are in the middle of launching a major product from the UK, blah, 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 right? Money, 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 kind regards and her name. Um, another gal, hiya lovely, hope you are well. I recently started my own business and I'm so excited about it. I love it. I wonder if you'd be interested in taking a look at it. Blah, 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 right? <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Saw your post in a DS group. How long have you been with your company? Are you open to other streams of income? That's their line that they're teaching right now. Are you open to other streams of income? Hi, I'm selling for a company launching January and they're doing cold marketing brochure blah, 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 blah. That's what I say to myself when I read these when they come in. And here's my response, and it's very simple. Thanks for thinking of me, but I'm not interested. If you knew me, you would know I'm with an amazing company now. Chaka Taurus changed my life and is fun and simple, and I get paid to craft daily. Wishing you all the best, Tracy. A simple response kind of puts them in their place because honestly, if they really knew you, they'd know more about you, and they wouldn't be sending you this spammy, message. So this is what you don't want to be doing. You want to create relationships, build relationships with people. That's really, really what it's all about. Okay. So here it is important. People buy from people, not businesses. You are your business's best marketing tool. So just a couple tips. You must allow them into your life. I talk about this all the time. If you are a closed book, your business will be not successful. It just is what it is. I'm not telling you you have to tell them every little personal detail of your life, but you need to open the book a crack and let them in because people buy from people. It's a reality. It's the truth. You want to build a connection with them. You want to share your W's with them. That's what's super, super important. So the W's are why you joined, what you love, what you love, what you do, why you love what you do, sorry, what it's done for you, what it's done for others, what it can do for them. So my followers know me, they know my husband, they know Tanner, they know our kitties, they know what we've been doing around our house, they know some of my personal struggles with anxiety and depression, and they know things about me. And that's because I've opened up my book and allowed them to come into my life. And so they feel connected to me, they feel like they know me. And when I get inboxes all the time, people saying, the reason why I joined you was because you were a real person. I felt a connection with you. You wear your heart on your sleeve. And that's why I really wanted to be a part of your team. So open the book, allow people in. Like I said, you don't have to let them know everything, but they should know more about you so that they can connect with you. Be yourself, be real. People are attracted to real people. Share life stories, both the good and the bad. Don't paint a rosy picture. You see it all the time, these Instagram people that post just all the goodness. Everything is rosy, life is rosy, 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 rosy. And then one day you see it all falls apart and they go, I wasn't being truthful, I wasn't being honest. My life hasn't all been rosy. We know that no single person's life is completely rosy and people wanna see the ups and the downs and the goods and the bads. They relate to you and connect with you when they hear that you've had a bad day, you've had a migraine, that you, you know, it was windy and crappy out and you didn't get to go here or there, that your child was acting like a wild monkey and driving you crazy all day. Whatever it is, they wanna hear what's going on in your life, whether it's good or it's bad. Show them how you conquer your days when they are bad. Like, seriously, how did you conquer it? For me, I go and craft. Crafting helps me 
to get through my anxiety and my depression in the day and crafting is my thing. So that's how I conquer those things, how to push through your struggles. And honestly, it's okay if you can't, they can see that too. There's been times where I don't go live for a week because I've just been dealing with horrible anxiety and I will post, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm dealing with horrible anxiety. I'm not going to be on here for a while. I let them into my life and then they're praying for me and they're encouraging me and they're there for me and they understand and they like that connection. They like to understand what's going on in your life. I get messages all the time thanking me for sharing my journey and I really do and people put me into tears and I know that when I share Chaka Tour and being a part of this company is so much more than just chalking and, and products. It is about a journey with people, getting to know people, allowing them to get to know me. It's so much more, you guys, than just a business. It's so much more. All right, important about your profile. This is a tip. You don't want to be this person on the right side that has a puppy as their picture, or you have a chocolate tour picture even as your picture, or you have an avatar as your photo. Something that's super, super important is to keep an up close picture of yourself. So as they go to find you, like when I go looking for my customers and they've changed their photo, it's really hard for me, really hard for me. So it's really hard for them to keep track of you. If you're constantly doing different photos in your profile picture and they're like, is that the same person or not the same person? So having an up close photo, like these, on, these examples on the left is really important for your business so that they can know it's you and they can find you. And not something that's like five years old. I know a lot of us are like, well, I was 20 pounds lighter back then, so I'm gonna post this photo because it looks great. But then you go to meet someone in person, you're like, okay, that doesn't even look like the same person. Because I get people coming to my house all the time for workshops. I want them to recognize me when they come to the door. So keep your profile looking nice and clear and up close. No doggies, guys, no doggies. All right, so something you wanna do is find common ground. Share your passion, what are your hobbies and interests. People connect to these types of things. So all of this goes back to recruiting because somebody's gonna join your team because they feel connected to you. Whether you have dogs, many people have dogs. Do you feel like you're connected to some people that have dogs? I bet you you do. Or maybe you're a cat lover. You got kitty cats and you're connected to a lot of people because you all have cats. That's what you have in common. Maybe you love to read books, go camping, go on vacations. You're in a vacation club. You're in a vacation group. You're in a crafting group. You're in a bunch of crafting groups. You find the common ground and you share those hobbies and interests on your, your business page and it will draw in the same type of people and you will have that connection with them because you're sharing all your same, maybe you're a gardener, you love to garden. So you post all your gardening stuff on there and that's luring in some other garden people, right? Like we love renovations. So a lot of people come follow me because we're doing the renos and they're like, oh, I love all the things you're doing. I love how you share your journey of renovating. So we have a lot of people that follow because of my renovating stuff, right? So find common ground, share your passions. It really does make a difference when you're growing your followers. Tips to grow your business page. So ultimately in recruiting, it's all about numbers, right? It's all about the growth of your business page. When you're getting started, of course, you know, your business page could be at zero if you're just getting started. So you got to start somewhere. So you start with a few posts on your page, right? And you get a few videos on there, a few demo videos. You want to get it started first. So if you're brand spanking new, set up your business page, get some things on it, and then you're going to get your friends to share your business page. And you're going to share your business page on your wall and say, I've just started this amazing new adventure. Here it is. Come follow me. Check it out. The other thing is you're going to have, you're going to share to some groups while you're live. You can share to some groups if you have a great quote. And there are tons of groups out there, craft groups, direct sales groups. Um, in your own town, there are groups. And I'm going to show you some of that kind of stuff too. It's all about finding ways to grow your business page. So you want to go from like zero to 50, you know, in a month. Try to go from zero to 50. Have a goal where you're going to grow that page, grow those likes, grow those followers, because in order to recruit you got to have followers right people that are seeing what you're doing every single day have viewers share for fun prizes so every time i go live i ask them to sprinkle the love what does sprinkle mean it means s-h-a-r-e right and then they can win some fun prizes and if you do that in the beginning i used to do it every time i went live i'd do a prize because there'd be like one viewer or two viewers right in the beginning it's very little 
And then as you grow, you go, we're going to do this once a week. So every Sunday I'm going to do a draw because you're growing and you got all these shares. So, but in the beginning I started every day, I gave away a prize and that's how I grew my likes pretty darn fast. So it's up to you. It can be something from the dollar store. It can be something that you created. It could be a surprise in the mail. It could be a mini kit, but it's a surprise, right? Interact, interact with your viewers after the live is over. So always go back and comment. Like if they said something, go back and comment on their response because you want to interact with them and get, let them know that you you saw that they were on there and you enjoyed having them there. Join groups that you can interact in. So what I mean by that is like, there are lots of craft inspiration groups out there. And if you're a part of them and you are seeing other creations, maybe it's a really cool wreath or a really cool wood decor, you comment on there and you start building relationships with people that are in these groups and you have a common ground and you have a connection. And later you can say, hey, you should come check out my page. Hey, you wanna be my friend? You know, you wanna grow your friends by 25 per month. I mean, inviting people to your page inviting your friends on over. You want to be able to keep growing that constantly. Interact and get to know others, exactly. Invite those to like your page when they show love or comment. So I've showed this before. You can go in there and click on the, the little hearts and the likes and it will allow you to invite them by that. Or you can actually just comment on there and say, so-and-so, be sure to like my page, okay? Show up daily and be consistent. Oh, I gotta go back. Hang on a minute. Gotta go back one. There we go. Okay, so be passionate about sharing your business products. People are drawn to passionate people. Excitement breeds excitement. It's true. If I get on and I'm like, la, chalking so fun. It's just so great. Here we go. Let's make this project. What does that sound like? Like, that's like boring on to the next person but if I get on and I'm like hey guys how's your day oh my gosh I had such a good day today I'm so excited to show you what I'm gonna do I've got three projects on the go it, that is excitement creates excitement right it's amazing you need to first believe this opportunity can and will make a difference in the lives of others you need to also believe in yourself and your dreams your goals and your ability to be successful open to learning and growing it's so funny because sometimes people will say, well, I'm just getting started. Like, do I have the right to be excited? Do I have the right to tell people that this business can change their life when it hasn't changed mine yet? So like, even if you are not where you want to be, right? So maybe you're just getting going. Even if you're not where you want to be, it does not mean someone else can't come in underneath of you and blow their business up. Yes. And guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna benefit you, right? So always share the goodness of this company. Always share the success of others. I think success is if you made $20, that's a success. You're able to go out and buy yourself a couple coffees, your favorite espressos, that is a win. Share your wins with the company. Share the fact that it helps you deal with anxiety. Share the fact that it helps you maybe with your depression. Share the fact that it takes your mind off of your crazy work day and maybe it's you time, you time without the kids, without any distractions, it just brings you joy. So that's what really needs to radiate out is your joy, your love of chalking. And when you do that, it just creates that instant draw. People want to come watch you. People wanna see what you're gonna do next. They wanna hear your stories. They wanna hear all that goodness, right? So your job is to share information. Good content equals recruits. I just finished saying, share your love for chalking. It shows others that you're having fun. So when I show up and I've got my crazy glasses and I'm dancing to us to some kind of a song, that's who I am. I'm showing you who I am. So I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. That is truly who I am. I like to have fun. I like to be different. I like to be crazy. And that's just who I am. Show your love for the company and all that it has to offer, no matter how big or small share other people's stories. You can share my story, how we were able to build a master bedroom bath with the wraparound deck. Share those things because those things are what draw people in and they get excited. Go live, do many demo videos. In-person demo, demos is also key. So maybe you're better at meeting with your friends at a coffee shop or having a couple friends over to your house and getting them to try it in person. That's where it all starts. When you're first getting going, maybe you wanna do a craft show. You demo it at a craft show, and boy, I tell you, when they pull that little transfer off that chalk chip, they're all in. 
So get the product in front of people, whether it's live, demo video, in person, all of those things are amazing. Show how simple they are to use and share tips. And show your screw ups, guys. Some people are like, oh my gosh, I screwed up tonight. I still remember when one of the girls, Miss Donna, will laugh at this one. Uh, she messaged me and said, Trace, something, something didn't work out. She said, can you go watch my video? So I went and watched her video and here she had her transfer on and she forgot to take it off and she was blow drying the chalk on top of her transfer. So I said to her, you go back and watch it and see what happened. And we laughed our heads off. But it's a prime example for her. She pulled it up, she took it off, and she started over and she showed them how to fix it. And when you show the mess ups and you show people how to fix it themselves, they see the realness and they go, wow, I'm so grateful for that. Because when they get the products, they're gonna wanna know how to fix things. They're gonna wanna know that the person that sold it to them is not perfect. Nothing in life is perfect, you guys. So don't put yourself out there as perfect. Show the mess ups, show how to fix it, okay? Show your excitement as you create beautiful home decor. That's what it's all about, showing them what they can do with our amazing products. So I talked about group ideas to join. So the thing that's grown my business page the most is when I go live, I have five groups I share to. Number one is my VIP shoppers group because a lot of those people maybe don't follow my page, maybe because they were um, invited by a friend into my VIP shoppers. So I share it to my VIP shoppers group, which is my own. I also share it to different groups that I've been a part of. So here's some examples. There's a small business supporting small business. They allow me to post my videos in there. They allow me to post stuff about my business in there, even if it was just photos and you know, here's where my page is. Direct sales love, creative crafting and inspiration. And I do five a night, at least five a night while I go live. I stop and I quickly share them to the group so that while I'm live, I've got all these new people watching me. And it's really good to search and find five new groups and start rotating them out as you do this. And I guarantee you, you will be shocked at how fast you start growing your page, how fast your live views will go up. The girls that have done this, taken this and done this, their views have gone up double, double. Um, literally I, I did it for one of the girls just to show her and her views were like three times the amount she normally had. So if you just take this one little thing right here, this is how I have grown my business with new recruits because I'm getting in front of people I don't know. And it's all about getting in front of people you don't know. And this is just one little step that you can do you guys, one simple step. So go find those groups, write them down on a little card and keep them in front. Oops, I think I went to, did I go to hang on. Um, write them down on a card. Oh no, I guess I didn't. Write them on like a um, recipe card. I stick it to my Archon mount and I have it right there so that I grab it and I share those groups. And I also make sure on the card it says share the opportunity, share about the club couture and share my VIP shoppers group. Those are the three must things you wanna be sharing when you're on your live. Tell them there's three different ways to try Chalk Couture. Be a club member, shop my VIP group, or join the business. Never be shy about sharing those things. I'm telling you, never prejudge who is watching you and who might be ready to jump on board. Talk about the amazing opportunity. Fun interactive posts on your page. Three posts a day. I talk about this all the time. You want to get up in the morning. You want to start your day off with a this or that. What does that look like? This or that, you like salads or do you like burgers? You know, post cute craft rooms. How many of you dream of having a craft room like this? Boom, me, 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 right? Um, post things like home decor or pictures. Oh my gosh, people love to see these home decor photos because this is what we do. We are in the home decor business. We're creating beautiful home decor. So you want your interactive post, lunchtime maybe a business post or a life post. So there's just three things you want to focus on. Life post is about you. So whether you're out there with your dogs taking a walk, you're out in the garden gardening, maybe you're out by the pool, maybe you went for a hike, you're fishing, maybe you're cleaning your house. I don't know, whatever you're doing, something about your kids. A life post, let them into your life every single day. Give them a glimpse of your life. A business post can be going live. It can be a business post about, do you like these products? Check out what you can do with this one transfer, show it on five different surfaces, and then your interactive post in the morning. There are so many ways to do an interactive post, this or that or, or what, as long as it's something that's getting them commenting on your post. 
that is an interactive post. Never post politics or post things that are gonna cause division on your business page. It's a business, you have to be very careful with what you do on your business page. Consistency is key. We were on a Couturier call and uh, they asked us, not a Couturier call, I think it was a leadership call. They asked us, what is the one thing that takes your business down? What's the one thing that you know your business will stop growing? And every single person said, if I'm consistently not showing up every single day, even if I go on a holiday, it's so important to have a scheduled post. So if I know I'm gonna be gone for a week and I really don't wanna be working my business, I schedule my posts so that they're gonna show up daily and the people are gonna still see me every single day, okay? So that's your three posts a day. You're gonna go live or post a short video. Interact with your followers, invite new people to like or follow your page, reach out and answer questions, and seriously, do not prejudge. You do not know who is following and watching you I had girls that watched me for a whole year before they actually joined. You do not know. You do not know how this can change a person's life. In a single day, you may say, say one thing that changes a person's life because you showed up. If you want to be taken seriously, you need to be consistent. Success doesn't come from what you do occasionally, it comes from what you do consistently. So show up every single day. Can you imagine if you went to Starbucks and the door was locked and you've been consistently going there to get your coffee every single day and the door was locked? What would happen? You'd go somewhere else, right? You'd go to the next coffee shop. So you got to be consistent. You got to be available. People need to know, like, and trust you as a person. Do not post too much retail. You want to keep it more relationship wise. You want to build those relationships. Those are key. When I'm on my live, I get to know my followers. I shout them out, I say hello, I ask how their day is. It's all about building a relationship with them, building a community. So they all get on now and they'll say, hey everybody, because they all get to know each other because they've been watching me for so long, right? So you wanna not push, you wanna have them be attracted to you. You wanna stand out and be different also. And how does that work? You be yourself. Don't try to be other like somebody else, right? Instead of buy, 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 come buy my, buy my stuff, buy, buy, buy now, you want to show them. So here you make things and show them how fun it is. You show them how simple it is. You show them how you're making money. It's all by showing and it's not being salesy. You're showing them how fun it is and that's what they're attracted to. Finally, lead by example. Number one tip as a team leader, you do, what you do is what your team will do. So when you take action every single day, what happens? Your business grows. When you take action every single day and your team is watching, what's most likely gonna happen is your team is going to take action. So in all of this, when you do the things that I have shared in here, you're attracting people to your page, you're attracting people to you, you're attracting them to the business, and in the end all, eventually they want to join your team. So the key to recruiting really is, is building those relationships with people. It's growing your business page. It's showing up and being consistent every single day and guaranteed your business will start to bloom and you will start adding designers. It just happens. It just happens when you do those things that I've shared in this training, it happens. Great leaders don't tell you what to do, they show you how it's done. Great leaders don't set out to be a leader, they set out to make a difference. It's never about the role, always about the goal. And I pray that I always inspire you. Um, my goal is to inspire, uplift, encourage, and empower you. And it's not about me, it's about all of you. I want to uplift you, encourage you, and I know that you all are capable. And if you're here, it's for a reason. God brought you here for a reason, and you all have a why. And I love when your why is strong and you want to achieve that why and you keep on pushing through the roadblocks because in this business there will be roadblocks. I promise you there will be roadblocks. There will be days where you want to quit. There will be days when your brain tells you give up. You're not going to get anywhere with it. There are going to be those days. But I will tell you this, when you conquer your fears, so many good things can come from it. And I can tell you I have conquered so many fears. <laughs> I have conquered so many. And so I know I'm excited to see you all conquer yours too. So 
Drop in the comments what stood out to you the most. What are you going to do to take action to grow your business? And I, I just love to hear what you guys think. All right. So thanks for taking the time to watch and learn and grow, guys.